And in California, officials scrambling to keep the coronavirus at bay. They have ordered a cruise ship with about 3,500 people aboard not to dock until passengers and crew could be tested. That after a traveler from its previous voyage died, at least one other person became infected. And a woman from our area is on that cruise ship, but she's not sick. However, she's worried about people she traveled with. Our Katie Crowther's in the newsroom with the latest on this. Katie. Yeah, Carol, Debbie Loftus brought her elderly parents on what was supposed to be a 15 day cruise. Now they're not sure how long they'll be on board. She fears her mom and dad have weaker immune systems, and now she's trying to make sure all proper precautions are being taken. Yesterday, we were informed of this by a letter put under our door that uh, some I think there's 21 people on board who are showing signs of illness and uh, we don't know if it's coronavirus or not. Now Loftus sent us these photos and videos of helicopters hovering above the Grand Princess Voyage cruise ship earlier today. Those choppers lowered coronavirus test kits and health workers down to that ship. According to the CDC, on the cruise's first leg, three people tested positive for coronavirus. On its second leg, 11 passengers and 10 crew members are now showing symptoms. Luckily, Loftus and her parents are not symptomatic. She did describe some of the things being done on the ship now. If you are healthy and you and you feel good, you, you can go out in the, into the public areas. You can go eat. Um, they still do room, you know, they have room service if you don't want to go, but they're making you wash your hands really diligently. They've changed the way they serve food so that the passengers are not touching serving utensils or napkins. If you want salt and pepper, they're putting it on your food for you. So you're not touching the salt and pepper shakers. And they're very diligent about wiping all the tables in between passengers. So um, I feel safe. I feel good. She is supposed to be back in Wisconsin this weekend, but has already been told that very well might not happen. Like thousands of others on board, she's now stuck waiting, hoping for more answers very soon.